Um, all right, so today we're gonna talk about. <laughs> oh, sorry. Girl. Hi, Bill. Morning, Bill. How you doing? How was your live yesterday? Michelle's uh, had to attend it. Um, so three, two, four finds. Happy Friday. I was in class. I'm taking a photography class. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Buttercup. 0923. Happy Friday. Yeah, you got her. You got her name really fast. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah. It was it was a really good live. Um, thanks for sharing the info. All right. We have a grumpy. It's okay, sweetie. Do you want her? She can just no, I don't want her to bark. All right. So... Okay. I'm going to bark in here. Sorry, baby girl. Okay. Okay. I'll let you go. We have a grumpy right. baby today. <laughs> there you go. All right. Grumpy pup. I know. She's grumpy. It's Friday. I don't know why. Well, the gardener's here really early today, and there's a lot of noise out there, so I can understand her. Um, but we're going to get started. We're going to talk about easiest items to flip during 2020 for us. But you know what? Um, obviously, like we would love for you to share what's moving for you guys this year. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, Michelle, what you think, but it almost feels like, I mean, it just feels like 2020 is so different than 2019 Yeah. in terms of reselling. Mm -hmm. Would you agree or what do you think? I, I would agree. I mean, especially now during the lockdown, it's, it's harder to source items and... Um, you know, I think we, t uh, Bill, your, your YouTube live yesterday talked about like, um, Posh Boss Blake talked about how he lowered his, um, profit margin a little bit just because it's, you know, it's a difficult time and it's, um, not a lot of people have some spare money now to buy things online. So it certainly has changed the game and the type of items are really different compared to what we were sourcing last year. Um, people have different priorities now. Oh, cool. Yeah, so hi, NY, to Callie Thrifter. She says she sold two mystery boxes. We've been seeing a lot of that, actually, in our community, people selling um, mystery boxes. And one of the reasons that's working is because, you know, resellers need a source item. So yeah, that's one way to do it, right? So what we're showing you today is... Um, just a little bit, a glimpse of what we've sold, like basically quickest flip for the year. The yeah. I, the items that sold the fastest. The fastest yeah. for us this year in 2020. Yeah. So we're going to tell you the amount of days it took to sold from the time that we listed them. We'll tell you where we sourced them. And is the price sourced in there? If we remember, we'll tell you the price source because profit is there. Okay, the profit is there. All right, awesome. So just wanted to say um, hello to... Let's see here. Sig's Creative Concepts. Thanks for joining us this morning. Stable Movement and Joe Rockin' the Sales. And all of this will be uploaded to our podcast in case you want to um, recap or if you end up missing the rest of it. So without further ado, what day is this that we're doing this now? So day nine? Day nine. Day nine. Yeah. So this is already day nine since we've been doing coffee and questions. And so let's get going oh. with the first... So the first item. Okay, let me let me do it then. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Let's. That's the first item, and it's so funny because we had someone on here recently who was saying that uh, um, not actually on here on Instagram, I posted the question of, you know, what are the you know strangest things that are selling for you right now, and somebody said, extra small women's Harley Davidson shirts. Oh. So that's been selling for people. And for us, it took us 15 days. I guess we're working backwards. Um, it took us 15 days to sell this Harley Davidson shirt. And our profit on it was 11 bucks. So the items we're showing you has nothing to do with profit. Um, it's more about time. So we would we could source an item a day and get sold in two days or three days. So um that's what we're sharing with you today. Yep. Good morning, Stable Movement. How you doing? All right. So that's number... So are we going backward or are we going to go back to the beginning? We're going to go from 10 and then 9. Okay. So this one is a Givenchy sweatshirt. We paid 3 bucks for it. 
it was online for 14 days. We had many people interested in it and finally someone bought it and our profit was 77 bucks. And this was a rare find. It's uh, the first Givenchy item that we source, actually. It's so it's so um, rare, and we found it at a garage sale. Yeah. All right, and so let's go to the next one. Okay, you want to talk about it? Yeah, so this um, vintage games tend to sell. It's so bizarre, but uh, I guess people uh, has this nostalgic... Um, feeling they want to play games they played before um, so this was a pretty beat up game uh, we found it at an estate sale but we still bought it because when we looked at the comps um, they were selling for a lot good morning Trish and so um, vintage games definitely if you see them snatch them uh, this game was sold for um, I believe around $70 so our profit was about 57 yeah, and the person who bought it wanted to play it. So as soon as um, she lived in New York, as soon as she got it, you know, she had like a little party and was having so much fun playing with it. And so N2, Kelly Thrifter said, sold a flawed Patagonia bubble jacket in less than two minutes. What? Got from Bins for 25 cents, made 35 bucks. Now that's a flip. And we just want to say hello to Trish Van 99 and Sweet C Sweetest. Sweet sass gems. There we go. All right. So the next item. Next item is um, Surfer Brands uh, t-shirt. So Billabong, Hurley, O'Neill, they all sell pretty well. Um, we I mean, like, yeah. we, so I grew up here in Southern California. Michelle grew up abroad in Hong Kong and the Philippines. Um, but I, I grew up in San Diego. So I grew up like sporting things like Roxy, you know, like all those, you know, skate or surfer brands. And like, we're super into selling those for men. So anytime we see like brands like Billabong or Quicksilver or even skater brands like Hurley, we just grab them. And right now these things are super popular. The nineties are back. Right. And so, um, these kind of shirts fly off the shelves for us. Billabong O'Neill. <laughs> yes. All right, next item. Electronics. Uh, I, it's it's hard to find vintage electronics, but when you see them, we snatch them. Uh, so this one, this is a Sony camcorder. I know that I have a friend who was asking me about how to play high eight tapes, and the only way is to do it through a camcorder, apparently. So these are in high demand. Um, we got it for $3 at a garage sale and sold it in six days. So it made $88. Good morning, a reseller's passion. How you doing this morning? Happy Friday. Um, yeah, electronics, but let's let, um, we're going to tell you where you can find them if you're interested in sourcing them. They're really good flips. You get a lot of profit out of them. Um, an account we follow, and you can follow them as well, is Vasquez Vintage. They love sourcing electronics. They do a lot of electronics and shoes, and those work for them. And um, right now is a good time to get them as well, because if you go on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp, people are still selling these. And, so. and also, a lot of people are looking through their old videos, and they definitely don't have the device to play those videos anymore. So they are t little tapes. Um, so these items are in high demand right mm -hmm. now. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, and to why Kelly Thrifter said if you can find a high VHS converter that will work, too. I had one as a kid. So I have no I, idea what that I is. I was helping my friend look it up, and they were about four hundred, five hundred dollars. It's 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 crazy. What does it convert to? Uh, uh, digital. It's, it's like a player, and you you you, you play it on the TV. Okay. So it is. It, it's a digital thing. But it but it says converter, so. Oh, maybe I'm thinking something. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I'm wondering, like, does it convert it to digital, like MP3 or something like that? All right. So I'm going to let you talk about that. I'm going to go grab the dog because she's barking at the gardener. So I'll be right back. All righty. So this was another find at a garage sale. Um, I grew up, you know, we, we grew up in the 90s, and we definitely know Polo Sport is a 90s um, popular brand. And it's crazy people would pay this price for, for something like this. So we found a vest 
at um, a garage sale for almost three dollars and um, they have been listing for two hundred dollars on eBay so we sold it for two hundred and in six days somebody snatched it um, and our profit was a hundred and seventy two bucks do you guys have any experience selling polo sports stuff um, if so if, and if you see them at the bins definitely you know look out for this brand it's Polo Ralph Lauren, right? Yeah. Ralph Lauren, yeah. Has anyone sold um, much vintage Ralph Lauren? Because that does really well for us, and um, you can get a really good profit. So, uh, Tootsie Avila, good morning. How are you? Cool. All right, so this is just like a television VHS player. These are really hot right now. Um, vintage console, like game consoles, are, are very popular. And so a lot of them, like, why do people want to use this? So the last TV that we sold was for a gamer. He, he, he bought it just so he could play video games on this little TV. Um, it's so interesting because he, he told me, he said, it feels so different when you play it on, like, a big TV. It just feels... He likes to play, like, Super Mario. He has, like, a Super Nintendo. So... You know, it's not just a game itself. It's actually the whole experience, experience yeah. of how you play the game. <laughs> it's nostalgic. Um, but my question is, like, on the old game systems, can you connect them to the newer televisions? Is that even yeah, possible? Can, really? Oh, okay. Can do that. Awesome. Yeah. Good morning and happy Friday. All right. I got to go get the dog again. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know Sorel is a super popular brand. Uh, so we snatched this at a thrift store and um, our profit was 35 bucks. So anytime you see any Sorel um, boots, snatch them. Uh, you know, one thing we forgot to talk about is check on the condition. It's so, so, so important to check on the condition. Sometimes we would see Sorel boots, but they have cracks on um, the edges or, um, you know, or they're just like in really bad shape. And in that case, you know, of course, don't buy them. So Sorrel Boots, um, there are a lot of other brands, uh, like um, anything that has to do with outdoor sports, uh, utility um, type shoes or jackets, um, those are always super in high demand. And the cool thing is sometimes it may not be in perfect, perfect condition, um, people would still be okay with it because they're going to get dirty anyway. So they're not going to put so much and so much emphasis on how clean the shoes are. Right. So Bill said, just sold some athlete low rise pants, low rise coming back. <laughs> um, low rise is, is that's nineties. Nice? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Good morning, Gary G 77. All right, this, so so that one was sold in three days, and oops, what did I do? You're pausing it. Okay, um, that one was sold in three days, and then the next item is yeah. So the next item we we bought this for our home, and then after a while we decided we didn't it didn't really fit <laughs> in our home, so uh, we put it up, and immediately everyone was on it. But uh, yeah. But the price is really good, though. It's 20 bucks. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> That's why, probably. Well, this was, how much did you get it for? 10 bucks. Yeah, so yeah. we got it, um, we sold it on OfferUp, and this was during the beginning, almost the beginning of the quarantine, I think, and, um, and people were just, like, we got, like, 10, 12 messages immediately, and they, everybody just wants, wants that item. Crazy. Um... Why don't you talk about this? Because you found this. Sure, yeah. So this was at an estate sale. It's an estate sale purchase. And by the way, you could still buy things online through online estate sales. And they'll just ship the items to you. So this was uh, found in somebody's garage. I thought it looked so awesome. I'm Look, look at it. It looks like uh, mid-century mid -century style, right? So, um, so we purchased it and it sold immediately. So, I mean, it is gorgeous. So how, what... Why do you know this thing is worth money or this is one of those things that you you just have to have an eye for to be honest. Yeah. Um but no, I just I just saw it and I thought it was beautiful. It looked it's a weather station, a barometer. 
Um, if you do run across any barometers, they sell well, you make a good profit, they sell quickly. And um, I mean, it would be for like a pilot or something, you know, somebody who's mm -hmm. interested in knowing the weather. But again, it's nostalgic. Like yeah. my, my grandfather on my dad's side, he was a, um, he was in the Air Force, right? He was a pilot. So it's been many, many years since he has flown an airplane. But mm -hmm. like, I could see how something like this would be like super nostalgic for yeah. someone like that. It's very cool um. looking. It is. So, you know, again, do your research when you go sourcing. I would have no clue on what this is, and I wouldn't even touch it. Well, when we <laughs> when we go sourcing, though, if we see something interesting, um, we just look it up right then and there. And, yeah. you know, but we, you can't do that now, right? You can't go sourcing now. Yeah. But, they, again, there are online auctions. There are online estate sales, and you can just do the research at home before you place a bid on anything. Which is basically the same, yeah. same thing. And we're trying to adapt to the new norm, new way of sourcing. And I'm just kind of like, you know, dipping my toes into into that um, area. So how it works is that people still have estate sales. Um, mostly, you know, a lot of people do local pickups. So what you do is you go on their website and you look through the items that they're selling. They're on a bidding system. So they usually start from a dollar, which is super duper affordable and you can bid on it and then you just have to watch it. It's like eBay. You watch until some, you know, it expires, making sure you, um, if you win the item, what you're going to do is you're going to schedule an appointment with the people at the estate sale and you're just going to do a curbside pickup and the payment would be either through credit card or, um, I think through credit card now and there's no cash involved. Um, so that's one way is local pickup. Uh, another way is very similar to eBay. You go on the website, you look through the items, you bid on the item, and then they're going to ship it to you. The, the drawback is you have to pay for shipping. That's it. Yeah. But I mean, it saves you, you know, gas money and time, right? Yeah. So it's, it's, you got to get some, I don't know. You got to exchange, I guess, stuff. So, um, all right. So we are going to go to the questions slide and do you guys want to share there there's a little question mark um, icon at the bottom if you want to share what's been selling well for you this is a good time to do it what's been selling well in 2020 actually the next thing we need to talk about is what's been selling well during quarantine time right because mm -hmm. we did not cover that today so mm -hmm. we'll cover that at another time good morning inspired to Tavir good morning Re old renew. So, um, if there are no questions, we can cut it short today. Um, and feel free to share your stories uh, as to you know what what have been selling well, especially during this quarantine time. Um, any tips and tools on how you guys source? We we would love to know that. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us today on this really short, um, really short live. Tomorrow, we're going to do our live later than 8 a.m. because we have to go pick up our items that we scored from the online virtual estate sales at 9 a.m. So keep an eye out for that time, and we hope you have a wonderful Friday.
profit is an I awesome. So just wanted to say um hello to let's see here, Sig's Creative Concepts. Thanks for joining us this morning. Stable movement. And Joe rocking the sails. And all of this will be uploaded to our podcast in case you want to um, recap or if you're not missing the rest of it. So, without further ado, what day is this that we're doing this now? So day nine, day nine, day nine. So this is already day nine since we've been doing coffee and questions. And so let's get going with the first. So the first item. Okay, let me let me do it then. Yeah, all right. So there we go. It's, that's the first item, and it's so funny because we had someone on here recently who was saying that, uh, um, not actually on here, on Instagram, I posted the question of, you know, what are the, you know, strangest things that are starting for you right now? And somebody said, extra small women's Harley Davidson shirts. Oh. So, that's been selling for people. And for us, it took us 15 days. I guess we're walking backwards. Um, it took us 15 days to sell this Harley Davidson shirt, and our profit on it was 11 bucks. So the items we're showing you has nothing to do with profit, um, it's more about time. So we would, we could source an item a day and get sold in two days or three days, so, um, that's what we're sharing with you today. Good morning, Stable Movement, how you doing? Alright, so that's number... So, are we going backward or are we going to go back to the beginning? We're going to go from 10 and then 9. Okay, so this one is a Givenchy sweatshirt. We paid three bucks for it. It was online for 14 days. We had many people interested in it and finally someone bought it. And our profit was 77 bucks. And this was a rare find. It's uh, the first Givenchy item that we saw, actually. It's so, it's so um, rare, and we found it at a garage sale. Yeah. Alright, and so let's go to the next one. Okay, you want to talk about it? Yeah, so this, um, Vintage Games tend to sell. It's so bizarre, but, um, I guess people, um, uh, has this nostalgic, um, feeling. They want to play games they played before. Um, so this was a pretty beat up game. Uh, we found it at an estate sale, but we still bought it because when we 
worked at the cons. And they were selling for a lot. Good morning, Trish. And so, um, vintage games, definitely, if you see them, snatch them. Uh, this game was sold for, um, I believe around $70, so probably was about $57. Yeah, and the person who bought it wanted to play it, so as soon as um, she lived in New York, as soon as she got it, you know, she had like a little party and was having so much fun playing with it. And so, and to Kelly Thrifter said, sold a flawed Patagonia bubble jacket in less than two minutes. Yeah. Got from Benz for 25 cents, made 35 bucks. Now that's a flip. And we just want to say hello to Trish Van 99 and Sweet. Sweetest Sweet Sass Jones. There we go. Alright. So the next item. Next item is um Surfer Brands uh, T shirt. So Billabong Hurley. O'Neal, they all sell pretty well. Um, women, yeah. we, so, I grew up here in Southern California. Michelle grew up abroad in Hong Kong and the Philippines. Um, but I, I grew up in San Diego, so, I grew up like sporting things like Roxy, you know, like all those, you know, skate or surfer brands, and like we're super into selling those for men. So anytime we see like brands like Billabong or Quicksilver, or even skater brands like Hurley, we just grab them, and right now these things are super popular, the 90s are back, right, and so, um, these kind of shirts fly off the shelves for us. I love that one, you know. <laughs> yes. Next item. Electronics. Uh, uh, it's, it's hard to find vintage electronics, but when you see them, we snatch them. Uh, so this one, this is a Sony camcorder. I know that I have a friend who was asking me about how to play high E tapes. And the only way is to do it through a camcorder apparently. So these are in high demand. Um, we got it for three dollars at a garage sale. And in six days to make eighty dollars. Good morning, a resource passion. How you doing this morning? Happy Friday. Um, yeah, electronics. But let's let um. 
Wurden in Taiwan kein Feiner mehr für Interested in Sourcing an? Der really good flip, sie geht a lot of profit out of them. Um, and the account we follow, and you can follow them as well, is Vasquez Vintage. They love sourcing electronics, they do a lot of electronics and shoes. And those work for them, and um, right now is a good time to get them as well, because if you go on Facebook Marketplace or off that, people are still selling these. And, so. and also a lot of people are looking for their old videos, and they definitely don't have the device to play those videos anymore. So they are taking little tapes. Um, so these items are in high demand right now. Yes, definitely.